Okay, it's an isometric drawing. Here's your exam. Starting point will be the lower point X. Giving me the starting point for all three axes. Sizes will be lifted either using a trammel or compasses. So we're looking for overall height, excluding the uh, the base. Legs will not appear in this drawing, so they're not part of its overall height is lifted in. The overall distance to the left is lifted using compasses. And overall length From there, outside crate can be generated. Let's try to be down slightly darker than you would normally to allow the camera to see what's happening. Upper surface, projected at 30 degrees, instruments resting on the parallel motion at all times. Major positions can now be indicated, the most important one for the moment will be the position of this centre. So we're going to look for distance from the end. We can mark that on one side, project across at 30 degrees, then we're looking for the midpoint from centre to edge. We can double check the accuracy of that by flipping it in both directions. Instruments are slightly off, so I'm going for the centre point. Here, given the centre position, the next requirement for the curve in this position will be to find points as we've described them 30 degrees apart. We're going for the outside curve first of all. So if it was a clock face, it'd be 12, 1, 2, and 3. Those components, the X and Y position of those, can be lifted straight from the plan view. The compasses can now set the distance between the centre point and the distance out from the centre point and one side and the other, two at the one time. I can then draw in at 30 degrees the relative heights. Setting the compasses again now. This just so happens, as always in isometric, to be the same position for two o'clock. So I can now use it. Set script the compasses to mark that same position on. Projecting at 30 degrees as before. And I need to find the heights for 2 o'clock. Marking them on. Now, in this case, we also need to find the distance to the side here. So We now have a series of points for the outer curve. I 
now have to find the corresponding points on the second curve and this is going to go all the way around first one to go for will be the distance up distance to the right distance to the left and importantly this point down here we now have to find the corresponding coordinates x and y height and length for this one and this one these two points are important in this case I'm going to draw these points in this direction to get rid of some of the confusion that can happen by drawing them in the same direction this way. Now looking for the height. So at the moment my curve will be coming around somewhere around these three points. Second one, just so happens it's the same as here, from the centre, out and out. I now need to lift the height to the second point. And I have Only two points can be drawn on. One, two. We have a cutoff at the corner here. To find its position, we can extend up and along. This corner exists here. We now have to measure up and back along. In this case, height and now the distance back for that chamfer slope and in this case we're using the same size this is the first line we're going to use free to join one point to another These points now extend across the drawing as shown in the plan. So with a 30 degree set square, we can project across. And where it goes outside the box, we use an instrument free angle line, like so. Internal, we have this pattern. So we now have to find corresponding distances. I'm just going to take them from the side I can now along this top edge from the corner this corner here I can put in our three sizes first one this will give me a line across the base of the shape 
second one. It's for an inside part from the end, so we'll have to come down from the end here, not making a mistake of lifting it from the top, but measuring everything from a datum. This becomes your datum. Line across at 30 degrees. And finally up here, using the compasses again to lift the size off. Since this is a datum for going in this direction, this line here will be a datum for measuring up. So from that edge, we can now measure the height. This size here is exactly the same on the opposite side. So we can measure on the line, distance in. Turn the compass around, Exactly the same on the other side. That's now going to give us lines on either side. So I follow these points. And now I have to add this little size in here. Again, compasses. One other method we can use is to simply use a strip of paper. And I can lift the size and using that trammel I can measure a distance in from a corner I can measure a distance in from a corner At this point is on the centre so I can extend the line down Put the slope in from the new point to the center. From the new point to the center. We have all of this now drawn. The last part is this area here, and we can use generators. Lines descending down from any of these given points on the outside of the cylinder, one, two, not on the inside one. This is on the outside circle here. So the outside has to conform with this outside curve. 